So we're out on a dig today. Undisclosed location in Kent. Uh, it's quite a... What's the word? Quite a... Quite a large area of pasture. Uh, surrounded by woodland. Uh, the woodland is out of bounds today. But yeah, like I say, we've got... I think it's about 100 acres plus. Uh, we're out the 800 knocks on field one. Sensitivity right up. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Just had a just had a 13 13 sig. Their signal was good. VDI was 13. Um, this chair turned out to be a bit of scrap. Anyway, we'll try to do a try to do a couple of live digs. But uh, yeah, we'll do a roundup at the end. All right, see you on the next. So we've got an 18 just here. I'm only in two turns, so. Um, anything that's oh, looks like we're on our first coin a large button Where the shaft would have been. No detail, but it's around in the ground. So I'll put that in the pot. Uh, well, we're on. We've got a couple more subscriptions to the channel. So we're on a, a whopping 120. <laughs> and yes, I get it, I get it. There's a million and one metal detecting channels out there and perhaps mine's not the most interesting, but you get what you get. Anyway, big shout out to Tom. If you're watching, I know you'll be out there taking the, taking the Michael. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, we've got a little six seven here. Hold my breath because it's not that deep. Shell. Yeah. Two two bullet shell. Right. So I mean, it's been a while since I was last out. Um. Yeah, as ever. Get used to the weight of the machine and the settings and functions and obviously the land. Um, yeah, see you the next. We had a little nine just down there. Uh, that looks like we've got part of a buckle. Yeah. We'll see what else is in this uh, area, shall we? A nice sounding signal here. Uh, reading a 16. Yep. Yeah. 
still in the hole. As you can see, it's quite, quite. Chalk here, flinty top of the hill. remember to dig it from the side yeah, I always remember digging from the side when we get a signal So you don't damage any artifacts or or finds really. Do you know that looks like an old screw for a minute there? I thought it'd be something uh, a bit more interesting. It's quite modern that. Well, we'll give it a clean up at the end and we'll see what it is. See you on them. Alright, we've got 27 here. It's quite a loud signal, which means to me, <laughs> quite close to the edge, quite close to the surface rather. Well, bear with. Not a clue, folks. To me, that looks like an old school black marker. They were quite uh, pungent back in the day. Anyway, on to the next. This was an 1820. It looks like it's a uh, 
don't know, capture some kind of it. Ah, oh, do you know what this is? Used to have these on the old Land Rovers. Keep the canvas on the back of the on the back of the Land Rover. <laughs> cool. Just for the most randomest of things. Much has come up, but then we've only been at it about 40 minutes. So, uh, anyway, let's crack on. Right, 17 here. A good signal. <sighs> Big chunk of iron. And there you go, case in point. Amazing signal. Yep. Dig a tooth. Lovely. I suppose if you're near a fence, you're going to find a bit of fence. Signal on both five tones and two tones. Let's have this just got my shot here again. Button. There you go. Because that's in the middle of an ant's nest. I'm going to leave that in there for them. Yeah. 
obviously congregate around metal for a reason, whether it's because it sort of absorbs the heat. So yeah, we'll leave it there for then. So I've just skipped on to five turns. And yeah, it's a pretty mixed bag. There's a lot going on in my head at the minute. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So I suppose we're just listening for that nice high pitched beep. Nice and slow as we go. One twelve thirteen. Just there. Oh, that's tough, man. Yeah, chalky. Flinty Kent. Ugh. Get a nice. That's it. That's it. Where are you? Oh, honey. Okay, so it's a 13 in the clump. It's probably a shorty. It's another button, I'm guessing. Come out. Yeah, looks like it's another button again. Missing its shank. Oh! Come here. And, uh, might be some detail on it. Got to take it in. No, I haven't. There it is. Yes, toasted. All right, in the in the bag. No ants in that hole, so uh, I'll get to keep this one. Right, I think what we're going to do is we'll do the um, we'll do the perimeter. And then uh, we'll probably just move into the middle. Maybe have a bite to eat, a cup of coffee. Um, if I'm going to be honest, there's probably, I don't know, there's probably maybe 12 of us on this dig. And uh, I'm looking around now and there's only one person digging. <laughs> so, and it, there's not a great deal here, but there's going to be something somewhere. Now, come and look at mine. There you go. Not great, not great, but certainly a lot better than that. <sighs> so I'm guessing all that mud came from that hole there. And I think I know who dug this. I just don't get it. You get invited onto digs. It's quite a... Um, it's quite a select few people. We're all chosen because we we come on digs with this group. And we're all supposed to be professionals 
in our in our chosen hobby if there is such a thing but yeah i can see exactly what this is look three or three three or three cartridge ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and lazy just lazy so lazy i mean you know i'm not gonna be able to put this back to any any decent state because it's bloody Jesus, what did you even dig this hole out with? That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Don't know where this mod's from. So, oh, is it from there? Of course it's from there. Can you put the put the mod back in the hole at least. a bit better. I mean there's horses use this field. Well a bit of a heart stopper. After my last bit of bad news. Um, just had uh, Dad's one of the uh, Organisers for the club dig come up to me. He said, uh, "Did you have your machine turned on up there, down by that track?" I was like, "Oh yeah, of course I did. Of course I did." He went, "Well, how did you miss this?" And he's just pulled out of his pouch a nice, I'm assuming nine carat gold curb bracelet. Uh, so that's a bit gutting. <laughs> so I checked it on the old machine and yeah, it was giving off a 12, which you would expect for gold, nine carat. Um, and I was like, well, I said, that is fair play to you, mate. He, he does find a lot of gold. Um, old Daz. But yeah, so I've just dug this and, I, and there's a bit of a heart stopper. I know it's very, very silver, but yeah, it's a, it's a little dog tag. Little ID tag for a dog. I won't turn it round. Um, I've already seen there's an address on there. So um, yeah, little pudding, pudding, eh? But uh, I'll try and get back. I'll try and get this back to the owner if I can. And as you can see, a couple of days that grass will grow back, and it'll ne like one never here. I'm not going to rant on about the other hole I've just had to fill in, or the other two holes. But yeah. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. So yeah, best find of the day so far. And I'm going to be letting it go. We'll see you on the next one, folks.